Thank you so much for watching this online video tutorial. Please like, comment and share the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Good Better Best Online Videos for more content. Good day and thank you for joining us. Today we'll be continuing with our trigonometry. And so we will be looking at solving triangles. Uh, let's have a look at how we go about doing that. So the question asks us to solve for x. So what we need to do is follow these basic steps. First what we got to do is write the word or rather just write given. And what we're going to do is write what's given to us. And so what's given to us here is firstly this angle of 30 degrees. So we write that there, that's 30 degrees. Then what's also given to us is this 10 over here. So what we need to do is write down obviously the name of this side, right? And that's obviously related to the angle as well. But obviously we know the name of the side is the hypotenuse as it is opposite the right angle. So we also know we have the hypotenuse. And that's equal to 10. Now that we have everything that's given to us, what do we need to find? So they ask us to find x over here, right? Which is relative to this angle is the opposite side, right? Because it's opposite the angle that is given to us. So that is opposite, which is equal to x, which we need to find, right? So what we need to look at now is obviously which sides are given to us or which sides we're working with. And that is the opposite and the hypotenuse. So if we just write out our sock uh, toa we got to look at where is opposite and hypotenuse together and that is over here with the s which stands for sine so we know we'll be using the sine ratio so from this point what we can go ahead and do is write out the equation for the sine ratio we know it's sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse so that's how we got to that point we first wrote down what was given to us we start with that angle then we wrote out the side that's given to us. Then we wrote out what we need to find, which was the opposite side. And so from uh, having the sides opposite and hypotenuse, we deduce that we're busy with the sine ratio. Okay. So let's go ahead and substitute in all of the values we have and then find out what we are trying to find. So we have sine. 30 degrees goes in there. Is equal to the opposite, which is x over the hypotenuse which is 10. So now to get x by itself and out of this fraction we need to times by 10 and which is the one side you do to the other side so both sides are times by 10 now and so on the left hand side here we'll now have 10 sine 30 degrees which is equal to x which we got left by itself. And so what we need to do from that point is put this whole thing into our calculator and then what we end up getting after that is a final answer of 5. So all we can do is punch in 10 on our calculator, then press the button sign, and then put 30 degrees in that brackets, or just the number 30. Once we press equal, we get the answer of 5. Okay, so next up what we're going to be looking for is the x in this question, which is in this position over here. And so we're going to follow our steps once again. We're going to first write over here, okay, given. The angle that's given to us is 60 degrees. The side that's given to us over here, which is 10 over here, relative to this angle is the adjacent side. So adjacent is equal to 10. And then what we need to find is this side over here opposite the right angle so we know it is the hypotenuse so we need to find the hypotenuse which is x which we need to find and so now we're looking at the two sides we have which is adjacent and hypotenuse and we can see adjacent and hypotenuse are together here after the c so we know we're dealing with the cos ratio cool this is just how we're going to find out which ratios we're working with so now we'll go cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse, always starting by writing out that equation, right? And then we're going to substitute all the values we have to find out what we don't have, right? So we get cos 60 degrees is equal to adjacent, which was 10, over the hypotenuse, which is x. And so what we're going to want to do is get x by itself. So to get it out of the fraction initially, we have to times both sides by x. Once we do that, we get 
x cos 60 degrees is equal to 10 and then to get x by itself here we divide by cos 60 degrees so it's x is equal to 10 over cos 60 degrees and so we get a final answer once you plug it into calculate you put 10 over cos 60 you get a final answer of 20 Cool, and let's look at the last example we have going here. Uh, we have, let's just create a border here so we don't get confused. Let's create a border it's on this side as well, so we can separate it nicely. And so now what we're looking at here is we get given two of these sides and they want us to find an angle now. So let's just go through our steps as we have done before, we'll right first given. So now remember, we're dealing with this angle over here. And what are these two sides with re in relation to this angle? So we know we have an opposite side over here, right? It's opposite the angle. So that is opposite, which is equal to 18. And then we also have the adjacent, which is the adjacent side of that angle, right? Adjacent, which is equal to 14. And so from that what we can tell is we have opposite and adjacent and if we look at opposite and adjacent are together in front after t so we know we're dealing with the tan ratio cool and then what we need to find is obviously theta which is equal to x which we need to find okay so now what we do is we write out the tan ratio equation so it's tan theta is equal to opposite over adjacent. Cool. So now we're going to substitute in what we have and to find what we need to find, right? So we're going to have tan. In the place of theta now, we'll just substitute in x because that's what we need to find, right? Which is equal to opposite 18 over adjacent, which is 14. So now what we need to do to get x by itself, it's pretty neat. All that's happening is the tan is going over. So what we call it is shifting tan, okay? So we're going to shift tan, and what happens when you shift tan is you get tan to the negative 1. And so basically what that looks like, how you can do it on your calculator, is obviously there the top left button is shift. You press shift, and then you press tan, and then you'll get this tan to the negative 1 function. And then what happens is in the brackets you're just going to put that fraction. Right, so all that's happening is tan's come over, it's been shifted, and then whatever was on the right hand side gets put into the brackets. And so once we put that in our calculator, we get a final answer of 52.13 degrees when rounding off to two decimal places. Because it used to be 125, I rounded it off and I got 0.13.